All right, so last time we did the figure eights and now we're gonna try a walking weave. So Captain is actually gonna be doing the figure eights. I'm gonna warm up with that. And then we're going to start moving forward through space. So let's see how it goes. One way that I used to teach this in disc dogs, if you're using toys instead of food, is to have equal, uh, equal value things in each hand. And when my right leg goes forward, my right arm goes down, which I'll demonstrate here. Right leg, right arm. Left leg, left arm. My right leg comes forward, come through, yes. Come through, yes. good job. So if you want to go backwards with it, you can send them through the outside. So that would look like this. He's coming from the outside. You can turn it into a reverse walking wheel. So keep in mind with the walking weave, they're always coming through your middle to the outside if you're going forwards. They're coming from the outside through your middle if you're going backwards. And this is to prevent you from tripping over your dog. If you have a little dog, you're, you might trip over it. If you have a big dog, you might hurt your knee <laughs> or you might go down and get hurt. So we don't want anybody to get hurt. We don't want your big dogs to get hurt, your little dogs to get hurt. And that's just a... It feels so awkward to walk that way with your right arm and your left leg and your left arm and your left leg, but that's so that way you can reward your dog um, as soon as they're coming through those legs. Um, it's also really hot out here, so Captain's a little sluggish. I'm gonna get him in. It's about 95 degrees right now in the shade, um, and it's 9.30 in the morning, so it's only gonna get worse. I'm gonna bring him in. You guys be safe. You can practice this at home. Uh, good luck, and we'll see you next time.